This is the waterfront of uh, Tavares, Florida, which is about uh, 35, 40 miles from Orlando to the west. And this uh, area here is uh, the shores of Lake Dora, which not only encompass uh, Tavares, but also uh, Mount Dora. Uh, this uh, lake is a really huge uh, lake. And in the Tavares area, it's uh, it it is now uh, considered a seaplane base. They've uh, very smartly renovated the waterfront area to accept not only boats but also uh, seaplanes. And there is a seaplane manufacturing facility very nearby. This town. Uh, fairly small town is really on the ball for development. Now this is a uh, shot early in the morning about 8 o'clock and uh, it's very quiet and uh, even though the temperature today was probably about 88 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning it's very pleasant and uh, nice to walk around. Now I'm showing you here some of the uh, current models of seaplanes or at least uh, ones that are relatively uh, new. And then this plane here, which is an old plane. How old? I don't know. But we're going to take a closer view of it in a few minutes. That's a new building they built to um, house uh, some uh, businesses that cater to, uh, to the seaplanes. There's going to be a fly-in uh, a little later in the day. And there you see a ramp that they use to uh, move the seaplanes in and out of the water. And there are boat docks nearby too. Needless to say, there are eating facilities nearby. And a hotel they just built. So they're really thinking of uh, just about everything. A little further down, they're building a, uh, a building that is going to host uh, wedding receptions. So that'll be another plus for the area. Tavares is a Greek name, evidently. I think it means a uh, hub, like the hub, uh, center of a wheel. I do believe that's the derivation. How Tavares got named that, I don't know. But uh, the major towns uh, in the northern part of Lake County all kind of radiate from Tavares, and I'm including Eustis, Mount Dora, and uh, Leesburg. Notice the uh, instrumentation here in this old plane. They have experimental on the outside. I don't know what that really means, whether it actually saw service or whether it was just an experimental model. There you see uh, a uh, little anchor, portable anchor there. Uh, we figured that's the fuel tank up above. And it's like on the level. It tells you right the level of the inside of it. That might be actually not the line for return. You might ask yourself if you really want to risk your life in a plane like this one. Do you know how old this is? No. Approximately? I don't either. Very rudimentary. Well, take a look at the one in the big tent down there. It looks like they that's converted a canoe into something. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a contrast to the more modern planes that uh, are, are here on the uh, waterfront. Really? Oh my heavens! Wow! Yeah, <laughs> 
you see the engine and the, uh, the propellers. Four-cylinder motor, posed. <laughs>